<laughs> it's good to see you again. You can be explosive sheep to help quite a bit, but again, no shadow flame makes this quite dire. I don't know about Cypher's position here. Tapping into BGH wouldn't even solve much. I mean, it would help because you could Demon Wrath and then BGH. Um, that, would that is that the only out he has? It seems a little far-fetched. Doomsayer might be the only Calling out. Calling to BGH looks pretty sweet. But even with Doomsayer, there is an Avenge somewhere. Lore Walker, Lore Walker Cho. Cho! Well, it's not a Doomsayer, so it seems like Cypher will lose this game. He's going to give Demon Wrath to his opponent, and this could be the Shredder that ends them all. <laughs> is the it end Doomsayer? is coming! <laughs> oh, it has to come, otherwise I think this is... Uh, that's not a Doomsayer, and Cypher that is not the it. game. And Cypher scoops it up. Lance Henze in the rematch is going to take it. 1-0 over Cypher. Like, you don't really want Redemption to come up. Like, yeah. it's, it, it, it's mildly annoying, but it's just annoying enough to threaten your board. But it's probably better to kill to, to try to kill the minion now. Yeah, you play Totem, why not, right? There's just nothing to lose. Yeah. But you're playing against Avenge a bit. Like, you want to clear the minion now before Avenge can trigger. And you hope your opponent doesn't have anything on turn three as well. Yeah. So here, if you're Cypher, do you play Cog Hammer to get rid of that Trog before things happen and uh, Feral Spirit comes down? I guess not. All right, he's going in, removing the Leper Gnome, and uh, he's got a competitive spirit, which right now Lanchanze can't actually handle too well. Abusive. That Lightning Bolt looks really good overall, because it uh, not only it deals four damage, it, it's actually five damage to face. Yeah, the Trog being buffed up as well is uh, one of the key. Key, uh, key points here. The Cog Hammer is an exceptional card in this spot, by the way. Not playing around event. He's playing around event, that is, but not around competitive spirit, which suddenly gives Cypher an amazing board. Yeah. But then there is Doom Hammer and Rock Biter. It's a little bit too far away to be. Just kill everything, play Shredder. Yeah. You have a bigger taunt. That's also a possibility. And then on turn five, you'll be able to Cog Hammer and play Spider, maybe. Right. I guess the upside of this play is that it's forcing Avenge to be used. Um, like to be triggered. Oh, all right. Cypher is going in for the risk. He says, you know what? If you have charge minions or doom hammer, you're going to have to go through this and buff my stuff. Actually, Lanhede will simply say no. Oh, man. He even has a lava shock up for after doom hammer. Great event here for Cypher. Gets himself a really huge minion. 5 4 can race like no one else. Yeah, but how do you race? You're at 14 and there's a Doom Hammer coming, so basically he's dead in two turns. He's gonna win, just check it out. <laughs> don't despair, he's gonna get a Vitality Totem and be out of it. Don't don't take phase damage, Cypher. Like, there is even a chance that uh, Lanshenza, even if he loses the Doom Hammer somehow, yeah. at some point. The, he does play Belcher, by the way. Yeah, Belcher will be probably better. Try right. to survive the Ooh. Belcher. The race is going on, ladies and gentlemen. So he's calculating here. He can get himself a two-turn lethal. Oh! Okay, this is this is a lot of damage. Belcher looks... You need a Belcher. I mean, Challenger would actually but you s tank wait, one hit. Don't you just die with the Belcher? You j even if there is a Belcher, you still die. Because you you double oh, rock man. biter. You attack the Belcher, you lava shock the one two, and then you attack again. So here it looks to Lanchenza like, you know... Uh, to, to Cypher, like, hey, yeah, I can tank a hit with Noble Sack. But the double Rock Biter means the Doom Hammer has eight attack, which is exactly what he needs to go through for the lethal. All right, so Lanchens is going to take game number two with his Shaman. And now, can he revive the Shaman? Will he revive the Shaman? If Cypher is bringing Secret Paladin again, he might actually snipe it twice. Eye for an eye! No. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine this? Can you imagine the eye for an eye tie here? That would be that would so be the next most level. <laughs> epic outcome. But Cypher is getting stressed. He is getting pressured. Look at him. Look at his face. Like, okay. So yeah, I have to wonder. Was I, I, racing probably was the uh, the decision he was going for, which is you know put as much damage on the board, try to race the shaman. Uh, but in so the you'll go down to 18. I think you'll go down overall. Keeper of Uldamon will make the uh, the spider just big enough to dodge Doomhammer lethal. So now this is a very big turn. Oh Earthshock. my god. It is great for Lanchenza. He kills the spider taunt. Easy. That's, opens that's pretty the way. rough, man. That is, that is rough. It not only opens the way for the Doomhammer, but it also cancels Keeper of Uldamon because if you want to play Keeper now, 
You have to kill the totem first. You have to kill the totem first. It's devastating. Lanchezo is going to deal 4 damage next turn, putting him to 12. Yeah, it's just a matter of time before uh, the damage comes in with the Lava Burst already set up. Lava Shock! Is that it? That would be 12, and next turn he puts him to 8, and that's 7. Yeah, he's going to be a little bit shy of damage, but close enough. 6? Can he even squeeze the totem? It's got to be the Belcher, man. It's got to be the Belcher. And even that's not going to do very much, so... For what it's worth, Cypher needs a Vitality Totem from that Shredder, but it's never going to die. Uh, just over Champion, does that buy him a little bit of time? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, man. I'm just looking at Lan Shanze. If he gets something like a Lightning Bolt or even a Rock Biter, Horse Rider, he has six mana. Not enough, but it's still a great card to get here. Deal the damage, then win You might play Horse Rider instead, because you can always throw the spells later on. Yeah, exactly, on. exactly. Yeah. But uh, the question is, does Lothab, you know, does Lothab stop you uh, if you if you play the uh, if you keep both spells? That is, it kind of well, it does now. <laughs> yeah, and the Shredder can't actually kill itself. That may be one of the fastest grand finals we've seen. Well, Cipher is not dead yet because it's best of seven, but Lunch is getting a great start. 3-0. That was brutal, man. That that was brutal. But this just goes to show where uh, Shaman stands. It's funny because Shaman is kind of the class, like especially this deck, is like a molten giant. But if he had it, believe it, or, like it would have been played last year. And if he if, the, if it was there, so. I think you tap here. You first tap, you see what's up, and then you play Lothar and go to the face. I mean, you could abuse it to hit for four and uh, set up a follow up follow a turn lethal if there's no way to stop you and the right, owl means you deny a taunt so yeah it does a ton of work here but as we can see here the two little minions will die and the uh, the bran, bran with the priestess and, and the defender to pick up something else if lanchens is able to break that wall or maybe even damage it to prepare for the kill next turn all right so he's going to block the imps instead of the priestess that's actually not a bad idea, because the only thing that really punishes you is a juggler play, and you maintain more minions on the board to, for the counterattack, which, by the way, would hurt a lot. We're talking about a power overwhelming already in hand, Leroy Jenkins in the deck. Lero, like, if a heal bot gets picked up, 16 health is found. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mortal Coil would... Oh well, man, that would actually... Coil is so close, right? I mean, he can't find lethal right now, I don't think, right? Uh, if he taps, maybe. Yeah, the tap would need so to be giving him the card. Oh! oh! <laughs> Double Peddler! Oh man, what can he get? That is actually... That is, Elven Archer is good! That it's like a coil. He, he can deal with, the, with he, one of the taunts. Yes! He just needs one more damage one more from damage. the other Peddler to win. One more Archer or one more coil? Or a Soul Fire, because why not? Will he have enough mana though? Well, No, he will not have enough mana to cast... Yeah, he can play archers. the two-one cost. Yeah, he can play Peddler, get another one drop, maybe find the second. Card yeah, but he, that needs he needs to cast Null as well. The what? He needs to cast Null to win this turn. All the free two. Elven well, do you archer. put your opponent on one then? That that might just be fine. That enough. might be fine. Yeah. Yeah, because he can't tap. He can't tap. He has the top deck. So wow, this is incredible. I am. He's not going for it yet. All right, he's playing it slowly, making Cipher believe. Well, rather, just making sure he's got something on the board. Well, Iron Bigal is still an option to put your opponent on the one. Audience is shouting, everybody's excited. What Shadow is Flame on? needs to be picked up here if Cypher wants to stay alive. And Cypher Soul. Soul! Wow! That is an insane card. He needed something and he got it. Everybody's cheering. Yes. You know what? This is a full board clear from Cypher. A full board clear. And with the minion as well, possibly? I mean, he wins with, like, right now, Cypher has lethal with PO. Yeah, right? if uh, nothing is uh, going to die. Implosion bomb. For the face. <laughs> Ouch. That's, that's a rough blow. Leroy! Oh, no, that's not no, it. No, you can't even play that big hunter. That's so close. Can he? He cannot deal with this board, right? Twilight Drake, Piloted Shredder. Nope, not really. He has to tap for something. He needs to get that Shadow Flame. And oh! he gets Shadow Flame! He's not dead yet! He's Shredder, still Shadow Flame! Shredder and Shadow Flame will give him another minion to use with this. Wow. This has been such an intense game! How can they handle this? How I don't can they know. handle this pressure, Nox? You can't even top the Doom Guard. It has to be PO! 
There's a two power whelmings left. That is not one. So you play Doom Guard. One more draw. You play Doom Guard and then you tap into a you have to get a PO, right? I th I think so. I can't think of a single other card that does it. And I believe he's got two left. I don't think we've seen a single one yet. Because the abusives we were used on the egg with the brand, yeah. so no POs came out of this deck. Double abuse have been used. No more peddlers to piggyback on. Lance Chance has done so much damage this game. Oh! oh mistake! My God. What a deadly mistake! That was such a mistake! If you just played the Doom Guard, he had it! What a crazy misplay! Oh, oh my no. god! That was so close! Pavel, what are you doing Cypher. here? Cypher sees it now! Cypher is like, what just happened? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh man, the pressure is like, I can't win a door, I need to tap, see what's up, what's going on. And just like that, Cypher's life is still on the line. He's still safe, he's still alive. Goodness! Oh, it's this close! And you know what? It all comes down. Actually, Leroy has a trading. This love is a bit awkward for Cypher. Absolutely. Do you, do you attack with both minions into it, or do you continue clearing? I think Emperor is just too sick here, since you do get a lot more leeway when you start trying to figure out what to do with your following turns. You do play it, but now what do you do with your minions? Cypher's like, I know you're playing in a handsome Meccano, so please, please don't <laughs> even try. <laughs> At 18, yeah, 18, and you, you need to find a tiny bit more with the other imps. So if everything gets Wind Fury, this is lethal. Yeah. Actually, you need one imp to get Wind Fury because Soulfire finishes it. Oh, oh. with Abusive as well. Okay, oh, man. okay, what gets Wind Fury? Oh, there, there is some in Fury though, so that might be it anyway. I, I don't even calculate. I don't even do. I don't All right, do so, math. so PO, you buff one imp. That's uh, twice, so it's 14, 16, 17, 22. It's two damage off. But you do have the soul fire and you pray there is a reno. Okay, so it's two damage off, but if there is healing, you your have life soul fire. suddenly is miserable. It but is. you have soul fire to finish maybe the rest of the health next turn. And here we go. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a trade with the Emperor if he tried to go for the long game, but if he really wants to try to shut the Reno possibilities down right now. Oh man, that was that was so close to just winning. And Cypher suddenly, he just needs Reno. Uh, he's Reno. He can tap into Reno. Can he tap into Reno? Oh, can he tap into Reno? Oh, can he tap into Reno? Zoo build from the Chinese player. Okay, so he's gonna go for the uh, <laughs> the Dark Peddler. It gives him a Void Caller, which, by the way, is also not a bad card. Unfortunately, if he doesn't use Siphon Soul, he's dead to Soulfire. He has to realize that. The thing is, I believe he's still dead since he didn't Demon Wrath. Yeah, because he can't kill everything. And he is gonna be exactly dead. So suddenly. It's enough. So this means that Langshenze gets it, and he knows it. He has that soul fire that he kept. They're on the back. There is a well played, and the best of seven. Grand final with Revival. Langshenze is your champion. He wins and the Cypher series. goes down 4-1. Nicely done by Langshenze here with the uh, very uh, solid and handsome mechanic at the end there. That was a pretty cool finish. Wow, yeah. yeah. With Wind Fury, with right. Power Overwhelming, Abusive Surgeon. I didn't expect that, but that's the first time I